today to talk about how to avoid being a product junkie. I know that there are a lot of naturals out here or just starting to be naturals who have a problem with just buying products because some of their favorite YouTubers bought the products. And I was one of those people at one point. I thought I had to buy every single product that every one of my favorite YouTubers were buying. You don't have to. You really don't. And there are a couple ways to avoid that. So what I would say is that you need to limit. So there's five, four, four things that will help you prevent you from becoming a product junkie. I like to call myself a product junkie because I literally <laughs> buy a product every time I go to a store. That's a problem. Even if I'm not done with it, I just go to the store and I buy more products. That's not okay at all. So what I would say is limit. So one, limit yourself. This means that every two weeks, buy a new product. You don't have to buy a product every week every other day you don't have to limit yourself one way that you can do that is keep track of when you buy a product so I made this chart and right here the date that you bought the product and then over here the product type and the product name so for here let's say I bought a product yesterday I would put five 9-2015 over here and then let's say it was some leave-in conditioner I would put leave-in conditioner the brand and all that other stuff over here so this is one way you can keep this in your bathroom or wherever you store your products okay this will help you you can also get a calendar I just figured this would be easier because like some people may not want to buy a calendar calendars are big um, I just figured this would be easier way. You could buy a calendar and mark it on your calendar. Um, you could, so don't forget to make your little chart. I mean, you can make your chart however you want. The date and the product type is obviously the most important. You can add other columns if you want. You could decorate it. I mean, this isn't really that, <laughs> this isn't really that decorative, but kind of nice to look at and don't ask me why it's on grid paper I just had some grid paper and I wanted to make a chart so I did get rid of any products that you aren't using <laughs> I can't tell you how much products I have that I'm just not using anymore because I bought some new products that I found a new love for so recently I had some friends who just become a natural which I love because I'm natural now and when I became natural it would change my life for the better I would say at least <laughs> for me yeah so I gave one of my friends she just became natural and I gave her some of my products that used to be my favorite the ones that I tried that worked well for my hair but then I found something else better that worked better so I would say give them away to other naturals or toss them or you can even try to use them again but some people really just don't like using products once they move on. So toss them. <laughs> That's not really like efficient because then you're wasting product but it's better than keeping it underneath your shelf. So I don't know if there's some way you could donate. Um, three. Avoid... Avoid buying every product that you see a YouTuber use. I found this to be my problem. I used to do that all the time. I used to literally, every time I watched a video, be like, ooh, I need to get that product. Ooh, I want to try that product. Which is not a bad thing, but I would say wait until you're done using the product that you are using and then try that new product. I know that I was very impatient with wanting the results that I saw from my favorite YouTuber but you just have to wait it takes about a week to two weeks for your hair to actually realize the product that you're using and so if you automatically just go and you change your product after the second 
the second day that you tried it because you saw something that your favorite YouTuber used, then you won't get the best results when doing that. Also, um, don't visit the, like, when you see that your YouTuber, write it down somewhere and don't go to the store and don't visit the store until your time period is up. So let's go back to our chart. Two weeks. If you, if I bought one yesterday, I'm not going to go to the store again to buy the product, products at least two weeks from now. I mean, I go to the store every week often and I avoid, 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 avoid the hair section because I will literally buy something. Like there's always so many good sales going on. Like Walgreens always has really good sales. Target always has really good sales. And I love that they have these sales, but I have to try to avoid buying the product. Like just last week, I no, I didn't need this product, but I, I have always been wanting to try the Curls, um, the Curls brand. So I bought <laughs> their coconut conditioner because I really wanted to try it and it was a great sale. So I have to tell you, avoid the aisle altogether. Avoid, avoid. The fourth one, have discipline for yourself. This is, could be the hardest one because it's so easy to spend money on so many products that you don't really need or that you're using. I can't even tell you how much product I spend or how much money I spend on products because I always want to try something new. Because every time I go to the store, Target, I even went to TJ Maxx the other day and of course they have like hair stuff in there as well and I was in that aisle or in that section looking and I was like, oh these are so good prices and products that sound really good for my hair. And so you just really have to have discipline. So that's why you need to limit yourself. This could be the hardest one. I find it to be the hardest one. I'm like, I don't need this product, but it's such a good price that I might as well buy it. I love natural hair products, which is going back to my point. So I'm going to restate that. One, limit yourself. Two, get rid of any products you don't want. Three, avoid buying every product that you see your YouTuber, your favorite YouTuber uses. And also avoid going to that aisle at the store. And then four, discipline discipline you have to discipline yourself that's the only way that you're going to be able to really save money when going natural also i mean there's other ways that you could buy like a lot of deep conditioners could be made with products that you buy from the store stuff that you already have so this is one way that you could really save money i know that this whole video is about a Avoiding being a product junkie because I am a product junkie, which is why I want to share with y'all the ways that I am trying to or have been avoiding having this problem. I find myself saving a lot more money now because when I first started, I literally bought every single product to try on my hair. And now I just can't do that. Like, I just can't. I can't afford it. I realize that it's almost like a waste of money because I don't finish using products. So try products for at least two weeks. I feel like I'm rambling now. Am I? I don't know. But I just really wanted to share with y'all my the way I keep track of the products I'm using and how I limit myself. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. I think this video could be so important to a lot of um, naturals. Yeah. So thank you all for watching. Until next time. Toodles. Why do I always do that? Toodles. Yeah, I need to find something else new. Maybe I should like start some type of product donation thing. It's a good thought. I might do that. How do y'all like my hair today, by the way? For some reason, I'm trying... I This is really off topic. But I'm trying 
a different sleeping style because I usually just put my hair in a pineapple which is fine but I find that the middle of my hair doesn't get the stretchiness that I want when I do that so I've been trying with slipping my hair in two ponytails and I mean look at this I love it like the middle of my section the middle of part of my hair is getting all the volume it needs and I love it, and I love it, and I love it. I mean, I just love natural hair. And